Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. You can go from sheet to sheet in Excel by clicking control page down to move to the sheet one to the right or control page up to move one to the left. To navigate around an Excel sheet without a mouse, use the arrow keys with either control or shift, depending on what you want to do. So control up moves to the top of your selection, control right to the end of it, control down, control left, control up again. But if you hold down shift, you highlight as you go, control to the right, highlights to the right, control down, highlights everything down, control left, highlights back up there. And then control up in this case would do that. Now, if you are outside of data areas and you do this, control right will take it all the way to the end of the spreadsheet and control left will take you to the nearest data. And that works in all directions. Control down, control up, again, control up. Also, if you hit control home, you'll go to the top left of the spreadsheet and control end will go to the last populated cell on the spreadsheet. But will also, if a cell has previously been populated, it will also highlight that. Again, control shift home will highlight to there. And then you can then go control shift left, control shift down to highlight that area. Once you've done control home, you can also do control end to get everything highlighted. Simple but very useful shortcut here indeed. Say I'm a bit slap happy and I mistakenly delete all of those values. All I need to do is control Z for undo. Control Z for undo. Now, if I decide actually I did want to do that, after all, redo is control Y. So that's undo, control Z, redo, control Y. Okay, so you're in an Excel sheet. Click anywhere in the sheet outside of data and hit control A. You will select the entire sheet. Now, if you are in a data table and you push Control A, you will just select that data. Now, if you want to cut, it's Control X. And then you can come over here and paste, which is Control V. Now, say I wanted to copy it, this is Control C and paste it back again. There's a copy. So I can then copy that again and move down here. And this time, if I do Alt Control V, I get the spaced paste special box come up. Now, any letter that is underlined on this, you can select by just pressing that letter. So you can see, for example, that V for values. If I select V, that will go straight to values. I can push tab to move to the different sections, such as pressing a B there will skip blanks. Pushing it again, incidentally, will get rid of that. And then the button that's highlighted at the moment is OK. Uh, but I could move to cancel, for example, but I won't. I'll move back to OK and then I can hit enter and there's my pasted values. So I've got this data and I think there's something wrong with this rank formula. If I hit on any cell and hit F2, I straight away go into edit mode of that cell. So I need to escape to come out of that or enter if I'm changing it. I can go back up to here, F2, back in the formula. I can now click on any cell and click on F4, which will toggle through making absolute columns, absolute rows, relative column, absolute row, absolute column, relative row, or everything relative. So on this particular occasion, that one, we need a absolute column. And then instead of 
clicking just one at a time on these. If I do that, they will go one at a time. But if I highlight both of those, as I know I need to fix them both, F4 fixes it all. Hit that and double click on the corner of the cell. Fill down. Formula is corrected. You can insert and delete rows and columns using shortcut keys. Click on any row and Control shift equals will bring up an option to insert an entire row, entire column or any combination. So if we say an entire row, there we go. But also if we use shift space to highlight the row in advance, then Control shift equals will simply just insert that row immediately. If we want to insert a column then, control space will highlight the whole column and control shift equals will then do that. Now whilst the column is highlighted, control minus will remove it. If it wasn't highlighted, control minus will again bring up the option as to what it is exactly we want to delete. I'm going to cancel that with escape. Same with the row, if we highlight the row, shift space or in fact even if we highlight two rows shift space control minus both get deleted i hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys i've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential excel shortcuts i'm giving this away today completely free just click on the link and i'll send you this straight away don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.